Hi friends. So this is the part two of a series that I'm creating on EAS encryption. So if you haven't watched my previous tutorial and that I created a simple script on how to take input from the client uh, and then encrypt it using AES. Uh, so it was just a quick demo of what we will be covering. So next after that we will be improving on that and uh, so i just thought maybe i should start from uh, the, the very basics so in this one i'm just going to be covering the basics and on the next few tutorials i will be going to on i'll be going on improving all those tutorials uh i just teach you guys step by step how uh, it works instead of just putting it all in bad video and just showing you a script so in this one i thought i would be just cover i would just cover up the hashes so uh, let's get started so in here um let me open my terminal so let's go to Python tree. Now the thing is that in order for this to work, we have to import the uh, hashlib module. So this, what it does is that uh, it imports the hashlib module, which we will be using uh, uh, in order to hash our uh, uh, input or whatever we type in. So let's get an object or a variable. In this case, let's for simplicity's sake call it md5. You can call it anything, and then let's say we want to make an md5 digest of it. So if you check in the type of it right now, type of md5, you can see that it is of type uh, hashlib hash. And uh, right now, if we print it, you will just see the object like uh, md5. So it shows us it's an hash object. This. So what we have to do first is we have to put in something inside it. And uh, in order to do that, what we can do is we can type in md5.update. Let me type in something like Python. So this is the md5. This is the object or the variable that we created in here, this one. And you're seeing update, put this text inside it, which we have specified as Python. So md5 dot update unicode must be encoded before hashing so this is a good so what it does is that uh, update it doesn't take plain uh, string so what we have to do it we have to byte encode it so in order to do that you have to put b in front of it now you can see that it works because uh, we have to uh, uh, this accepts byte uh, a string and now in order to view our uh, the digest of it uh, the digest of this uh, python string we have to type in md5 which is the name of the uh, variable that holds this uh, string python and we have to type in digest so what it does is that uh, it shows as a byte encoded digest of uh, our string python so if you want to view it in hex you can also do that all you have to do is type in hex digest so in here this shows us a hex uh, digest of it. It was just a byte. This shows us a simple uh, byte encoded digest of it. This is, you can see, this is B for byte. In here, uh, so in the bottom one, what we did was we used hex digest. So it shows us in hex our uh, digest. So in what you now, what we did in here was we created first an an object. A variable then what we did was we in here we uh, inserted the text python in it and then we printed it but what we can do is we can just simply do it in one line as well so uh, in this one uh, i will be using it using sha so let's call it sha it can you can call it anything you want so for this example i'll just be using sha because i've already used md5 and then we are saying that uh, so what this part says that it used the hash module hashlib module which we imported in here and you're seeing that uh, once you import this hashlib module, sorry, once you use this uh, hashlib module, what function or what uh, method? Uh, use the SHA-1 method of the hashlib module. So previously, uh, in here, where is it? Uh, in here, uh, we said that use the hashlib module, but the MD5 function. This time you're saying use the hashlib module, but use the SHA-1 um, method or module uh, function of it. And then we can specify the string so let's type in something like again python you can type in anything but again it has to be in a, a byte format byte string not a plain uh, string 
now after that we can say uh, for example like hex digest uh, and then uh, so it says that store the hex digest of it so what it says that it says uh, uh, encode it or hash it using uh, Python and then uh, uh, store the hex digest of it so once you use this Python hash it using uh, SHA and then convert it into hex so if you print enter this time if we print in SHA now this time you can see that this is the SHA uh, uh, this is the uh, hex encoded or hex digest of uh, this uh, string python so this is for this tutorial guys uh, if you have any questions any suggestions uh, feel free to put it in the comment section below and uh, in the next few tutorials i will be uh, improving on this i will be teaching you guys some other concepts uh, and some other parts of it uh, one by one step by step so that at the end uh, maybe five six or ten tutorials up later we can create a script in which we would type in the name of a file and it will take that file and then we will type in a string using which it will uh, encrypt it and then you can take that file again using that same script and then you can type in your password and it will decrypt it so that is the end goal but for these tutorials i will be just covering simple uh, concepts one at a time uh, giving you simple demonstrations of how it works so this is it for this tutorial guys um, as I mentioned previously for questions, if you have any questions, feel free to put it in the comment section below and I will see you guys in the next one.